Hey, what's up fellow Zelda enthusiasts? I wanted to showcase a few of my favorite new Tears of the Kingdom text translations found throughout the game that we did not see anywhere in Breath of the Wild. So without further ado, let's go. On the floor in Pura's laboratory, among some lines that are drawn out there or taped off, she's got a couple of labels. One says Romulus, which the best I understand is an Asian genus of stick insects. And the other says Director, which I assume refers to Pura. She's got posters on her wall depicting all four of the main locations where the temples are found. Each poster has a nice drawing of the area specifically, and then they're labeled Goron Village, Gerudo Village, Rito Village, and then Zora Village, which I thought was funny because they didn't change it to Zora's domain, they just left them all villages. <laughs> She's also got two books in here that you can read, one upstairs and one downstairs, but if you look at them, they actually say the same thing. This first page here with the April Fool's Day joke was actually seen in Breath of the Wild, but it's continued and we get to see the rest of it moving forward. April 1st, today was a dry, hot, and sunny day. I went to school. This diary is very important document. And then the continuation instead of the cookbook stuff, April 2nd. Yesterday was Fool's Day. Everything that I wrote, all false. That is all. See you tomorrow. You may or may not be aware that some of the welcome mats in Kakariko Village in Breath of the Wild were reversed or mirror imaged for whatever reason, they just got messed up. Well, I'm happy to report that the team at Nintendo realized this mistake and corrected it before releasing Tears of the Kingdom. The mats no longer say Imoklu. And this sign here says Inokita Construction Company. Inokita being the Japanese variation of Hudson Construction Company, similar to how Bolton Construction Company is Sakurada. This sign here at Death Mountain says Yundumi Instructions Notice. It could also say Yungumi, if I'm mistaken here, that's the only letter that could be one or the other, depending on how you translate with the Hylian decoder. And I believe this is the Japanese word for Yonoboko. Also at Death Mountain, this sign literally tells you to go here next. <laughs> The translator I use is linked in the description, and I'd like to eventually make a Gerudo follow-up and especially a Zonai follow-up, but because Zonai is a special new language and it translates into Japanese, not English like the others, it's going to take me some time, but we'll get there. Did I miss anything cool? Let me know in the comments below and subscribe to catch the follow-up Gerudo and Zonai videos when they come out. And until next time, stay well and always keep punching out there. Aloha.